already look crazy i was just going to blend out i'm already feeling like i failed in this thing hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome i'm nana b so today's video i am going to be following Taylor May Jane's St. Patrick Day tutorial. Now that tutorial is a very beautiful tutorial, core crease, green liner, everything. And quick disclaimers with an S. Um, disclaimer number one, I cannot do a core crease to save my life. I have tried and they have come out horrible, terrible, and I just I just can't. I just I just don't do cut creases whenever I attempt eye makeup so yeah number two i'm also not good at eye makeup and then the last one i'm not going to be using every product that she's using in this video i'm just going to try to use similar products not similar products products similar in color the same color so yes let's get into it and let's see what's up my taylor family it's your girl taylor may jane here and we are back with another slate today okay also, I'm going in with my Too Faced Concealer in the color Spiced Rum. Okay, so she just went straight into it without priming or anything. So I'm just quickly going to prime my face. And then the first thing she uses is um, a, a concealer that's the same shade as she is. I don't have a concealer that's the same shade as me. So I'm just going to be using my foundation. Okay, so she just starts here directly, like on her cheek. shade of concealer just directly underneath her eyes so i'm just going to be doing that too and then i'm putting it on my chin i'm literally going to take the same product and put it everywhere i want to conceal so my forehead area a little bit and then a thin 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 line down my nose as y'all can see i put that foundation on the sides of my nose as well because when i blend that concealer up into the contour i mean onto my nose where the I already look crazy. I was just going to blend out another concealer, which is kind of between both shades. So now I'm just taking the Rumor 6 base and just putting it everywhere on my face because I'm going to use this as a concealer. Oh shit, I forgot she also took that bright highlight around her nose in like dots like... feeling like i failed in this thing i did go a little overboard with this and it was a complete accident i, I don't know what i was thinking okay and now it is time for contour and now i'm just going in with my color pop 210 foundation stick yeah the foundation stick to contour my face this is my favorite contour shade that i use it is it gives me just such a beautiful contour like honestly okay so now that we are done placing every product, she starts blending. So she Downside starts by to blending my nose and I'm the foundation. I took it out to my brow first. Bow. You're gonna see why. Now I'm just taking my Real Technique Insta Pop face brush and I'm blending out that foundation, and I'm just making sure that I'm lightly touching, but making sure that I blend it at the same time. Okay, so after all of that, I just take my foundation brush again. And I go over she looks so much more blended right than I do, contour, but let's keep going. Let's keep blending. The key to makeup is blending. That's what every person who does makeup will tell you. This is just the Instapop cheek brush. I use this for my contour and for my foundation. And as you can see, I'm going in now to just blend out that contour shade. 
Okay, now she it. starts blending the very, very highlighted parts. So after that, we're going to blend out our nose contour. My nose has disappeared. I've never contoured my nose before. There's always a fail. And then I work back in between that concealer brush and that contour brush to make sure there is literally no harsh lines. So we're going back in between, like she said, and making it really soft because the harsh lines are back. People, I feel like this is blended enough. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. So she quickly does a brush blush. It's like a pinkish blush, I think. Now the next thing she does is to do her brows. She's using a brush to do her eyebrows, so I can't really follow the techniques when I'm using pencils. So but what she does is she starts with the dark one and she starts at the bottom of her brow. Which is what I'm going to do. I don't like doing my brows after foundation. I don't know why. It feels like there's no room for messing up. You know, you can't really mess up because you've done like the rest of your face. So if you if you f up, you've f up the rest of your makeup, and there's just so much pressure, and all of that pressure just makes you do your brows bad. So now I'm going into my brows, y'all. We're doing an ombre brow, mind you. Okay, so now I'm using my P. Louise Rumor 4 base and I'm putting it all over my lid. So, she starts doing her eye makeup. This is the part that I have been dreading. This is the part that I have been scared of. She uses a light brown shade, so I'm going to use a light brown shade and i used a soft brown out of that palette and then i wanted to make the crease very very dark and deep and so i went into the darkest brown out of the palette so after using a light brown shade she goes in with a dark brown to darken it up <sighs> this is dark enough I'm just using the same blank canvas paint that I always use to cut my crease. Okay, and now what she does is she goes in with the light brown that she used and then the darker brown to kind of give it like a gradient effect, which is what I am going to attempt. In, and then I took that same, those two same colors from the Jackie Anna palette and I tapped them right on the lid, starting with the light brown and then graduating to the dark brown, just so it has a super soft, beautiful, you know, transition. Okay, so after doing the whole light brown, so dark brown transition. So she's using the P. Louise base, P. Louise green paint, and I don't have that. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a bit of my green pigment and adding some contact solution. Now she takes it and she uses the lime green on the top part of her cut crease. This is the same P. Louise, um... This is a P. Louise paint as well. It's their lime green paint. Now, after that, she does a very, very extra eyeliner. I'm going to try and recreate that extra bit. I 
like you can just see that this is like this so this is like okay so i learned her over and then she goes underneath and above the eyeliner with the green pigment so all i did was take that same green paint around that black liner and then cleaned it up with the liquid eyeliner Okay, so this is it. I feel like I tried. It's actually really good. This eyeliner do, but so she went off camera to put on her lashes and finish up the rest of her makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so she went off camera to finish putting her lashes and she put the pigment, the paints on her lower lash lid, which is what I tried to do and yeah so that was what i y'all this look is officially done this look is beautiful omg okay guys this is the final look i think i tried look at my lashes just oh god oh my god look at my hand anyway yes this is me done with the look I mean, for someone who doesn't know how to do a cut crease or who has never successfully pulled off a cut crease, I think I did okay. So, what do you think? Do you think I did nice? Let me see in the comment section below. You can tell me what you think of this look. God, I wish I was going out, but I'm not. I just have to take it all off now. But it's so much effort, so much time, and now it's done. And it's the end. <gasps> Flawless and seen.